Hey guys, this is Abhishek from GadgetsTools.com and today we are going to tell you some of the tips which you can use when you set up your Android phone. So in case it is your first Android phone or second or third, things you should know we are going to tell you in this video because these things will avoid any kind of extra data usage on your Google account and you can also do certain other things so that you get the phone in a way you want, especially when you are doing the setup of your second or third Android phone. So let's start with the setup. We have the Samsung Galaxy Edge Plus as of now in front of the camera. And we are going to do the setup in front of you on this phone. We will tell you these tips in this video. Let's start with the setup. We have Samsung Galaxy Edge Plus in front of the camera. And we will start the setup on this phone. First of all, you have to select the language over there. And then you can actually go to the next step or you can access accessibility option. So under accessibility option, you have different options to control the phone behavior especially for people who have vision problem or hearing problem this is going to be a very good thing you can turn on the voice assistant especially which will give you a lot of guidance in case you have some problem hearing or visibility by just doing a triple press of the home button so in case you do a triple press of the home button quickly it will turn on voice assistant and once the voice assistant is on, it will tell you everything you select with a voice. So if you select anything with a voice, it will tell you that so that you can hear it. And this will definitely be easy for people who have visibility problem or hearing problem to an extent. And again, you can access every other option in this mode only when you do a triple tap. So in order to do any select any option you need to do a single tap in order to then take the action you need to do two more tap like this quickly and then you can go to that particular thing this is how you can actually configure things in this mode especially for those who would like to do it and again you can disable this mode quickly by doing a triple press of the home button again on the samsung phone and this feature is again there on the Samsung phone. Uh, we have not seen much of these things on other phones which we have reviewed till now. Again, let me select the language and go to the next step and tell you what all things you need to do. First of all, you need to enter your Wi-Fi which you can always skip as well. So let me configure it and come back. Password is entered now. Let me just go to the second step. Let me connect to this Wi-Fi network and proceed to the next step. Now we can proceed to the next step. Now here we have some important things. So in case you don't want to agree to the privacy policy, you don't need to check it. Again, this will be checked at some of the Samsung phones, especially in some of the other Android phones, you might see some of the options which are checked, which you should always disable in case you don't want them. For example, this option over there for the diagnostic data, in case you disable it, your private data and some of the usage data, which is again going to be anonymous, will not be sent to any other servers, which is normally done by these companies to improve the overall software and other things on the phone. And again, you can always disable it, although it is kind of anonymous, they don't know about you, but in order to be safe with, for your privacy, you never know. So you should disable these options like diagnostic data and once you uncheck it, whatever diagnostic data is there on the phone that is not going to be sent to the server. And then you need to agree to the terms and condition. Now it will test the connection and will check for any software update. So as of now it has uh, quickly copied the Google accounts and backed up the apps. So this is actually important part. Here if you skip it, you can actually go to the next step or you can configure your Google account and back up the things. Now you need to enter your Google account. This is very crucial. First of all, you need to enter your Google account credentials. And then the second thing which happens is something very important. And I will tell you what all you need to select in that area. So I have entered my Google account and proceeded to the second step after that. Now I have to select the time which you can always do. It is not something which is very different or difficult now we will have an option to restore the backup now in case you are co configuring your second android phone whether you would like to restore the backup which has been done from your older android phone or you may like to set up a new device now in this case you can actually select the backup which has been done on your google account from different phones 
different Android phones you have used in the last 15 to 20 days and here it goes so these are the phones which I have used again I use a lot of phone for review you might get only one single option in case you have one older phone so here in case you don't want that backup data to be here on this one and you would rather want to have that backup transferred in a way you want to and you want to make a selective backup in that case you should set up a new device but in case you want everything which was there on your phone on this one now you can select the option of doing a restore and this will be completely automatic whatever that was backed up to your google account which includes google contacts your photos in case you are using google photos and in case if it is something else like call logs and some other things like messages as well then in that case that will be restored otherwise i would rather recommend to set up a new device so once you do a new device then you have the option of doing a selective backup and then restoring it and here we have another important option which you need to basically configure or uncheck in case you don't want so right now i'm actually using a lot of android phones for review so i have to basically make sure that the backup is not there on my google account because i don't want every other phone to backup data on my google account and then later on i have problem with the storage so in that case you should disable this option of doing the backup from of your phone apps app data settings personal dic uh, dictionaries and wi-fi passwords in this case it will actually save the storage on your google account and otherwise you are using this phone for a longer time you should not check this option however this is actually a recommended option which is checked by default but it will actually consume data on your google account and in case you don't want this to be done or if you are not sure you should better uncheck this option another thing is that you would like to use google location services to help determine the location now here we have some more options like help improve location services by letting apps and services scan your wi-fi network you can also disable this option you also have help improve on your android experience by automatically sending the diagnostic data again this is actually related to google the earlier one which we unchecked was related to samsung and this one is related to google you can always uncheck this one as well so these are the things you should uncheck in case you don't want your data to be sent even in any way and i don't believe that this data is actually anonymous i do believe that these companies actually have a lot of data which which actually identify you and uh, whatever you do on the phone actually is being sent to a great extent so that's it as of now and again there is nothing else which is important this is just the samsung account and now the phone is uh, completely set up i can also configure uh, s voice to wake up this phone which i can do and i can skip this as well i guess uh, so this is all we have as far as this video is concerned but all you need to know uh, when you do the setup of your phone are these things which you should check or uncheck depending on what your needs are and then you can go ahead and start using that android phone without worrying about your privacy this is all we have as far as this quick video is concerned thanks for watching this video in case you have any questions and queries you can leave your questions and queries in the comment section below you can also like this video this video help you by clicking the like button below you can also subscribe to our youtube video channel for more videos like this by clicking the subscribe button below thanks for watching this video this is abhishek signing off thank you